Hey everybody, it's Bubs here. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. I am still smack dab in the middle of my quest with Sebastian to uh, figure out more about the trinket or the triptych, sorry, the triptych uh, that we found. And we are going to continue that. And then I also, I gotta do that after. Um, but we'll see how far we get. And to go along with this, I am still drinking my Imperious cocktail or the cocktail in honor of the Imperious curse, which I learned earlier on when I was filming, and that cocktail is called a Don't Mind If I Do. Um, it is definitely an interesting cocktail. Celery bitters is probably the weirdest thing to get. Because um, honestly, elderflower, like if you haven't had it, get it. It's the greatest thing ever. But uh, celery bitters might be more unique, something that you might not use often. But honestly, if you like savory cocktails, I think it could work in a lot of different um, flavors. And it's really great in this. So give it a try. Cheers. Okay. More spiders. Revelia. Hmm. Oh, this was like a little spy window. It's not. That's a lot of. We guys. have another fight on our hands. Why am I not? I think they're gonna get beat up by a giant spider when I get in here. I have to fight the giant spider. That's what I think. Hit a ranger to survive. Rather up wise coming back this way. That wasn't them. Okay. Watch a burning thing in the air with the pulse. He was on fire. This is so hard to do. Ooh, trying to do these things takes forever. Ow. Still no way. Oh, spiders. I did say that was going to happen to me. That was into another enemy. Into another enemy? That's too hard. I like killed myself trying to do this mission. Can't even read. Oh, God. You. That's for me now. Certainly cleared the room. Don't know why Gryffindor's get credit for bravery. We Slytherins are teeming with it. But we're much more fun to fight with. Because we use the bad curses. Incendio! Really? Then you down here in Ooh. Now. Oh. Um. <sighs> We can have a look around in peace. Uh, here we go. Confringo. Yeah, wasn't expecting that. Oh, what a maneuver. Let's try something good up here, though, right? Rebellion. Bag with some goggles in it. Okay. Going in the door. Let's do this. Is this supposed to be the runic symbol we're talking about? We should clear out these spider webs. Always seem to be in the way. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Ooh. 
Brilliant. Another Our mirror efforts weren't in vain life. after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. Uh oh. Revelia, what do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully, it will help us unravel more of this mystery. Yeah. How do I talk to Sebastian? If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival could Rackham, she... another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic yeah. too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. His are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Gosh, don't you know what that's like? Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. Already found it. But I want to know what's up with this thing. Incendio. Looks like there's a secret passageway over here that I would like to explore. But I guess there's something in it. it. So it doesn't matter. Now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do. I know fact. this location. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mara and Ween has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? I'm gonna keep Lodge. Cast. Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Wow. Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Unbelievable. Yo, did I just ruin my quest with Sebastian? I'm genuinely worried that I did. Okay. Let's go find Poppy. Oh, what are these? Oh, Summoner's Court. No. Okay, I should go talk to these people before I go too far. We're just gonna do a quick little uh, walk around here. Talk to some people. Pick up some side quests as always. he's getting away with this he has another pardon me is everything all right no no it's not we only had two bells to go but she just had to go and spoil things uh, i'm afraid i don't follow i Who think i know what this things? is 
Also, what? I bells? accidentally solved a puzzle I wasn't supposed <gasps> Professor to. Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts. And found them Adelaide and Evangeline. And solved the puzzle. Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck. Unable to tell which bell goes where. Oh, if she can't figure that out, she's. Perhaps I could help dumb. put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. Yes, You're they certainly are. of more help than Adelaide. I imagine the bells are just inside the bell tower. Oh, I've already. <laughs> I already solved it. The bells are back up, Evangeline. Ah, oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And I hope that you do as well. You don't know how much this means for me and for Hogwarts. She hopes that I appreciate what I've done. Get out of here. Ooh, I love that. Aww. Christmassy. Fun. Oh, I wonder what the Great Hall looks like. We might have to go check it out. It's the perfume. My brother's doing well, thanks to you. I don't remember how to get out of here. <laughs> I thought this was the way, but I don't think it is. Is it through here? How nice to see you, my young friend. No. Oh, I'm never gonna find my way around this place. Oh, I had it? Did I have it? Oh, I went left at the wrong door. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick this quest up. I'm not gonna play it yet, I don't think. Actually, maybe. Let me just quickly check something here. Oh, we gotta do that. We're doing this instead. No one wants to watch me play a board game with Accio. It's boring. And my content is usually so enthralling. What's more powerful than the dark arts? Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. Thank you. I feel like I want this Ember Dash broom as well. You'll that be thrilled like with that broom, I promise you. Just buy them all, you know? Let's just do it. I thought I'd get a special. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> This may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details? <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumors of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right, <laughs> I think. This guy's like... Get out I'm there. not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find Imelda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. Okay. I look forward to our next meeting. Let's equip that stuff, shall we? Oh, I wanted to put that new wand handle to that I got. Where was it? 
Yeah. Broom. Okay. Perhaps I could test out my new upgrade on the way. Yes, perhaps. No other missions here? I thought I had more. I'm just gonna. It's a long way away. We're just gonna fast travel from here. I gotta kill one of these guys. This is good. This is good. We gotta do this. Oh my god, that was close. I just, I just like open my book. You're on my side now. Accidentally. It doesn't feel any faster. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. I'm over here. I can see you. Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. I'm surprised That's I'm the best. Actually, uh, thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. <laughs> anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> get ready to lose. Oh yeah, I was like, I have to remember how to do this. It's been a while. That wasn't too difficult. Brilliant. Just hold down the buttons. Oh god. Losing control. Oh god. I knew that was a miss. Oof. If I do say so myself.
wonder. This is going well. Oh my god, I missed another oh. one. Oh my god, I missed another one. Oh my god. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm gonna beat it. It's three seconds for each miss, right? Oh, we did it, but it was close. Did anyone else see that? <laughs> it was close. We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here, fifth year. You're an asset to our house. Mm -hmm. You take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh God, I gotta beat all these people. I should let Mr. Weeks know that this was his best upgrade yet. I'll do that later. You guys don't need to see that. Who is this? Right, Natty. Wrong way. I always do that. Find myself scurrying. How's my favorite test flyer? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. That was weird. Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit. Preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. Excellent. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Plenty of time. Couldn't have done this without you. Okay. Let's just see. There's like a little speech bubble up there, I gotta... Oh wow, look at that. It's all ready for the Yule Ball. Okay, why can't I figure out? Oh, it's Poppy, I gotta talk to him. Okay, let's go let's go talk to her. Nothing's as clever as playing with fire. much 
faster. Oh, I hope her grand is okay. Oh, good, you're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Hauntel Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? Ooh. The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. What? I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers this might go after the This whole game is like, the adults are saying exist. this, so I we think we should not do that. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon, but the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies, others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs, they'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. Great chat, Poppy. Great chat. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Coming off the broom. Are you ready to put an end to Halo? Yeah, let's do it. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. All right. Okay. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some ash winders heading there. Oh my god, be careful. And as my mother would this never go near the hog's head, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Very well. I'll speak with them. See what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Will do. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Should be able to talk to, like... Mm. No, I'm afraid I have to call it here. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more, please give us a like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Cheers. I could go on tour.